Lesson, we are focusing on a hymn, okay. Uh, Kwesi Ofori, Kwesi Ofori, Kwesi Ofori drew my mind to this. I realized we haven't done a hymn before, right? So, in his comment, he said, A special series on hymns harmonization would be great. Yes, that was what that was the recommendation he gave us in his comment, Kwesi Ofori. So, uh, thank you for drawing my mind to this i think we haven't really done a hymn okay and also i do have friends from the orthodox churches that uh, sometimes we meet and then we share ideas on rehams concerning hymns okay so this lesson is for everybody now because i belong to a, a charismatic church we don't normally use organs or pure strings when we are uh, playing but rather we try to make it a little bit contemporary whether with drums or bass guitar or not sometimes it's just the singer and the keyboardist sometimes it's the full band so in today's lesson we are going to be in the key of e flat now let's quickly take a look at the scale of e flat first so uh e flat is our one or the do g is our two eh, sorry f is our two or the re g is our three or the mi this is our four or the fa. Then the B flat becomes our so or the five. The C becomes our la or the six. Then the T becomes our the the, the D becomes our T or seven. Back to the one. So we are in the key of E flat. And I if you look at the cover very well, I did two things. I I would first of all play the maybe the first line or the first verse in in a basic manner and then in the second verse which has the same melody i will reharmonize it with chords so we are taking a look at it in these two areas playing it the basic way and then reharmonizing it with chords so at the, at the end of the day if you're a beginner an intermediate or an advanced player i hope you'll be able to learn something from this lesson okay yes so let's first of all start with the melody when we, when we work with the lord right so Now, so on the melody, take a look at my bass notes very well. So, so that's how I come to play it. So when we work with the Lord, it's one to the six or two to the la. So, okay, to the la, which is the C, right, or the six. Then we can throw in a passing note, so it will be like, right, and it sounds very nice. So. Seven, six, do, do, tila. Okay, good. Yes. And then we go to five. So, so to the T. Do. So not this time the T again is seven as a passing note between the five to the one. So right, good. Now let's uh, uh, harmonize it with basic triads. Okay, and then we'll take a look at uh, extra ways that we can spice it up. So, I would normally, if I want to play it the basic way, I'll, I'll go like. 
This is very simple. This is very sweet. Right, so. Yeah, and I believe everybody can play this. So, uh, on the sixth or on the la, I have the four chord. Which is the fa, fa, which is the fa, la, do, right? Or the four, six, one. And then, uh, uh, the T is what? So, T, re on my right hand, right? Over the T. So, so this time I didn't do, but I did. So you see, I've, I've even changed the bass note right now, and I believe this is not difficult, right? So, but instead of playing the six, seven, one here, I prefer to play it here at the beginning. See, yeah, because I have realized that sometimes when you mix the the, the lower side and then the higher side of the of your bass note when you mix them it it's it also creates its own atmosphere so right so it's like we are going back and forth to the same chord so and back to our seven but on the six we play the regular la chord which is me la do or three six one okay so Here I utilized only notes, which is the mi fa or the three four so and the five. Okay, this is the this is the B flat first inversion chord. Then to the A flat first inversion, which is the four. But we are not playing the four. We are playing it on the B flat note, which is the five. Okay, so to our A flat major chord, which is the la do fa. Six one four to the one, and this is our regular E flat major chord, which is the five one three. So let's combine everything together. Yeah, very good. I remember. So we did. So the four or the E flat chord will take the C, which is the seven. Okay. Now oh, we, we are we are playing the same chord and this time over the three bass notes for the is it what a glory da 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 I, I can't remember the lyrics there well but uh, okay so let's take a look at that part so so after. seventh chord okay like a dominant seventh on your left hand so you see with the same pinky finger do a melody on the five so to the to the five there's a b flat chord good and then we, we will technically repeat the same thing But here is where we take it to the next, so I say next level, next stage, where we reharmonize stuff, stuff, right? So over here, I decided to play it like a foreign gospel, but with the melody intact. Okay, so uh, then the same melody. You see. Sorry, very beautiful chords. So now let, let's see what I did over here. I believe individually they might all be caught that you know, but sometimes knowing something is not enough. Knowing something is not enough, how to apply them? Yes. 
So I like it when uh, Kwesi Ofori said a special series on him harmonization. I like the word series. This 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 concept of playing chords like this and applying such chords in a hymn i don't think it can be taught in just one 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 lesson on youtube like that so i'll do a special course on this one as well okay then we will launch that course a special course made up of a, a series of videos explaining into details how we can reharmonize chords using the melody because if you don't reharmonize the chords using the melody very well what will happen is you might confuse the person singing the hymns but our aim is not to convince the person. We are following the person melodically, but we have to make it beautiful. So let's take a look at these chords. So basically, I did instead of doing no this time I discarded all and I did two to the flat five. So re fi then C mi la right. So you can clearly sense some circle of thought going on here. So two flat five seven three six, and then we know that right after learning this chords, we can we can put it in so many songs that has a seven three six progression inside. So on the two, on the two on my left hand, I have the two and the one, which is the re and the do. Okay, and on my right hand, I have. 3, 4, 6, 1. Like I said, I believe you know this chord already. And this is on the flat 5. So I have the flat 5, flat 7, which is the Fi and the Tor. And then I have the Mi, La, Re, which is a quarter. Okay, so. Then. Okay, now this, this is a minor 11th chord, a D minor 11th chord. This is a D minor 11th chord, and I believe I have taught minor 11th chord in the music theory playlist. So you can go there for more clarification on this chord. Okay, but I brought the D over here. Okay, and I need to put it. It gave this beautiful sound. So right then, and then this is also a G augmented seventh chord, and we are playing it on our three. So there are a lot of chords out there, but how do we use them? We are we are doing some right now. So okay. So on my right hand I have the the Z, Do, and the Mi, and on my left I have the Re and the Mi. Okay, sorry, Mi and the Re or three two. I have the flat six one three. So combine all. Is it whilst we do his good will, like something like that, right? So, and then this is a B diminished seventh chord. Okay, see, I also have a lesson on diminished seventh chords under the music theory playlist. Go and check all of them out. So, B diminished seventh chord to the sixth. Now, this is a, this is a, this is a regular line. Now, if you like, you can add this five notes to it. So, they add us onto it. Then, uh, right? But seriously, playing only the triads sounds very nice and very clean. Take a look at what I did over here. On the we are using we are basically utilizing the same major triads we did in the first part. So here we are changing the chord. So now this is an altered chord. Okay. This was an altered chord. Okay, 
So let, let's take a look at what I did. So uh, on this melody, instead of playing the third notes, just like that, I added this chord to it. So on my left hand, I just had a flat, flat, flat seven, right? Tall. So it's a tall chord. So this is a tall chord. You can play in E flat, flat seven. And then I have the two. Uh, what is this? Flat six, one, three. So. So, so this is just a free notes that you play. So I just over the seven or the T T chord. So I have the T, the seven, and then the flat, flat, the minor third, right? In my left hand. And then on my right hand, I'm playing another quarter. I have the la re so. so take your time and play this chord uh, with patience and ease. So from the T, now I'm, I'm constructing another circle of forty, a kind of so. Then to this chord, so the same melody is taking two notes, which is two chords. The same melody is taking two chords, which is this. One of the most popular chords that you see in gospel music. The three and the two on my left hand, and then the flat six one two five. Basically, zero really, so right. So then here, I love this chord seriously. This this over the one. That is an E flat minor eleventh chord. So you see how sweet minor eleventh chords can be. We have already played a D minor eleventh chord. Now we are playing a, an E flat minor eleventh chord. Jesus Christ, this chord can pierce through your heart. So you go like. Okay. Now so I have the D. Sorry, that's not the D. I have the E flat or the Do, So, and then the minor third, the flat three. So one five the minor third on my left hand, and on my right hand, I have the five flat seven two four. Okay, so then I come back to our D minor eleven. We have already played this chord, right? We already know this chord. It's like it's like a T do but T to the do. So what do I have on the do? I have the major seventh of the E flat on my left hand, which is the do and the T. And on my right hand, I have the E flat tritone. Basically, an E flat tritone. So there's a me here, there's a me here. Sometimes you can do this. Okay, so you can play the do and the tall or the do and the flat seven instead of the do and the T as well. We don't want to confuse the singer too much, so from here, after playing all these, let's play some normal trials here. Then, so I'm, I'm still in the triad mode, let me say triad mode. So this is just a la chord, right? Do, me, la, over the la bass mode. The D or the flat two and the third. Okay, so it's on the six. So the melody. And then we came and play out the main chord. So the diminished chord over the flat two, which is the B flat diminished chord over the flat two on the left hand. So the B flat diminished chord, I have the the five flat seven flat two and the three, or the so d, uh, sorry so to d me. Okay, so can go to the two or can go 
approach the four. So is this a B flat chord over the over the A flat, which is the four, which is the far right? This is a far chord, A flat chord. So over the five, so it's like a so on the left, a far on the right, far first inversion. So now we know this chord again, right? The 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 E flat or the one over the three. Then we have so this this is the, this is the most popular me fast so I've ever come across in gospel music, which is the the me or the third over the or the the one, right? And then the fa over the two, which is the fa la re, and then the so over the one, the so over the five over the one, which is this is the, the second inversion. So, so to try it. Now we know this chord already. So to the two, to the five, one. So. Yes, so uh, now let's see let's see how we can reharmonize uh, this 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 aspect again. So uh So let's see. So instead of playing the five Again, it's another minor 11th chord. It looks like in this lesson I used a lot of minor 11th chords to uh, reharmonize uh, the song or the melodies. Yes. So in this lesson I can also name it a, a practical way of what applying minor 11th chords in reharmonizing a song. I, I could easily make a title out of this. So there's an F minor 11th chord. Yeah, you see, I won't have time to explain why this is a minor 11th chord. Go and check the, the, the music theory lesson on minor on, on 11th chords. Then you will see minor 11th chords over there in the music theory playlist. Okay, so, so when you go to playlist, look for music theory. You see, my, you see 11th chords there. The, 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 the detailed breakdown of how minor 11th chords are formed is there. So, um, I have the F and the E flat, right? Which is the Re and the Do. You're gonna have Fa, La, or four, six, one, three, five. So, trust. And then this is a B flat minor ninth chord. This was also a very popular chord we use. So, so on my right hand, the left is just a B flat. On my right hand, I have the A flat. C. C sharp or E uh, D flat and then F. So I love this chord. This is an A flat 13th chord. Now why is that an A flat 13th chord? Because we have the flat seven of A flat inside. And then we have the 13th note, which is the F. Uh, I also have a lesson on 13th chords in the music theory section. So please explore. I can't explain this here because I don't want to make the lesson too long. So an A flat 13th chord or the Fa 13th, we can say Fa 13th or the, the, the 4 13th chord. So we have the A flat, B flat, and then I have what? The, the, the 6, 2, 4. Right? So this is, a, this is a 4 chord. Now I've given you a practical way of applying it. So uh, now I think we know this chord, right? The, we have played this chord before, so I won't spell it out. So, 
so trust and obey so trust but i think we, do, we all know this so i start on the two so re mi re di re right so i have the same bass note that we applied in the triad section on my left hand this is a, a c major chord on my left hand on my right hand i have the, 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 the flat 7 on the toe, the D, the Mi, and then the La. So, then I'll do this chord. This will be it for this lesson we have done a lot we have done a lot in this lesson we have learned the basic way of playing uh, uh trust in obi and as well as what uh reharmonizing it by applying some advanced chords so i'm happy that i've been able to kill two birds with one stone by god's grace so once you are learning the basic style of playing this hymn you are also learning what the advanced way of playing it uh, so from time to time we'll be doing hymns as well okay Yes. So like I always say at the end, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and then go to the playlist. There are lots of lessons there. And then keep learning and then keep learning and then keep learning. Okay. And then keep commenting on the videos. You see, it was Kwesi of so so for this lesson, the credit goes to Kwesi Ofori. It was his recommendation that drew my mind to the fact that oh, I haven't even done a him at all. So we could, we could do we could do something like that and then we have done it so kudos to question for you so keep commenting and do i know that sometimes the comments are, are many and sometimes i'm not even able to read all but still some way somehow i will see some and then i will, I will, I will work on anything that you guys ask for so god bless all of you so much you see we are all doing this to towards uh, expand this kingdom using the, the talent he has given us. We have to work on the talent. We have to occupy till he comes. So we are doing this towards. I'm not. I'm not teaching you this to go and then play some some worldly song somewhere. No, we are doing it for God. That's why we only play gospel songs on this channel. Yes. Okay. Because we have to use our time to serve God. So. Okay. So let's meet in our next lesson, where we will learn another interesting musical concept or song okay god bless you so much